Welcome to Think A Bit. I'm Joe King. And yeah, on June 8th, Amazon, if you already have your device set up, Amazon is going to automatically enroll you into Amazon Sidewalk. And you're going to be sharing your internet with your neighbors and whoever. Whoever has an Amazon device, I guess. And I think that's a big problem. And that's a big security problem. So on June 8th, you can still opt out after that day, but you're going to be automatically enrolled if your device is already connected. If you're purchasing a new device, I guess I'll ask you if you want to uh, enroll or not. But here's how you disable it if you already have a device. First thing you have to do is see if you have one of these devices. These are the sidewalk bridges. The devices that will be sharing, broadcasting, doing that sidewalk crap. All right. I was scared that my ring doorbell might do it. But after looking, nope, it's only the ring for floodlight, the ring spotlight, the ring spotlight cam mount, the ring car alarm. So if you have one of these rings, yes, I you should go opt out immediately. So if you have a ring one of those ring devices it's real simple you can open up your ring app tap the three lines in the left corner go to your control center then you find a sidewalk feature there and you can opt out now if you have one of those Amazon echoes if you have one of these Amazon echo devices I mean you're gonna have to download this Alexa app and then you go to the Alexa apps, you go to more settings, account settings, then you'll find Amazon Sidewalk and turn it off. But I was trying to find, I was trying to disable like my Ring doorbell in this Alexa app. I couldn't find it. Then I went to the Ring app. I couldn't find it. It's because like the regular Ring doorbells, I guess, don't have that feature, thank God. So... You don't have to worry if you have like a Ring Doorbell 2 or Ring Doorbell Pro. I don't think none of those are going to be have that sidewalk feature. Here's one concerning thing and the major reason you should not enroll an Amazon sidewalk. Well, I know what other sidewalk enabled devices are connected to my bridge. They are connected to my bridge. Preserving customer privacy and security is fundamental to how we have built Amazon Sidewalk. Information transferred over sidewalk bridges is encrypted and bridge customers are not able to see that. So you won't even be able to see what's connected to your internet. That's a big red flag for me. If something's connected to my internet using my internet, uh, you could give me a generic name to the device or something, but I want to know what's going on with my internet if something is connected to it. They're saying right now they're only going to it's going to be the data is going to be capped at 500 megabytes. But who knows? They could just they they make up their own rules as they go along. So 500 megabytes for now. Who's saying next month it won't be a gigabyte? If I'm sharing my connection. For Amazon, I should be getting paid. If I'm a hot spot, I want to be getting paid. Like helium. Helium miners. If you want to be a hot spot, buy a helium miner. They actually pay you for being a hot spot. All right. If you want to build a network, Amazon, you pay people. You understand? You pay people if you want to use their internet. You just don't go getting to use my internet for free. No, that ain't happening. And I want to know why Amazon's making it so difficult to opt out. If you have an Amazon Echo device, they should have made it simple. Like, hey Alexa, I don't want to be enrolled in Sidewalk. Fuck Amazon. I remember when I used to like the Sidewalk, but then I got in the street, you know? And I just became too street. The streets took me over. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And opt out. We have to stand together. This is Joe King.